Welcome viewers, in this video, we will see the solved problem in the magnetic circuit, it's a part 1. Subscribe this channel for more electrical related videos as well as the course material. The course material drive link is available in the description box. Now we will go to the problem 1. A solenoid is wound with a coil of 200 turns. The coil is carrying a current of 1.5 amperes. Find the value of magnetic intensity when the length of the coil is 80 cm. So the given data are the number of turns is given 200. Current is 1.5 ampere. The length is 80 cm that is equal to 80 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter. Now all the data are available. Now we can go to the magnetic field intensity. The magnetic field intensity H equal to Ni by L. Very simple formula, very simple problem. It's a direct substitution only. The all data are available. N available, I available and L available. So all the values are substituted. After simplifying this, we got the magnetic field intensity equal to 375 ampere turns per meter. The unit for magnetic field intensity is ampere turns per meter. Now we'll go to the second problem. The magnetic strength of a magnet with a square cross section of side 5 cm is 0.3 milliweber. Find the value of magnetic flux density. So the flux is given 0.3 milliweber. 0.3 milliweber means milli means 10 to the power minus 3. So 0.3 into 10 to the power minus 3 weber. Then area of cross section. This 5 cm side is given. So the area is side into side, 5 cm into 5 cm. So the centimeter is converted into meter by multiplying 10 to the power minus 2. So 5 into 10 to the power minus 2 into 5 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter square. That is nothing but 25 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter square. Right? The square is given, so side is given. The area of the square is side into side. Now we will go to the magnetic flux density. Magnetic flux density is nothing but B equal to pi by A. The flux density is nothing but flux per unit area. B equal to pi by A. The pi value is available. 0.3 into 10 to the power minus 3. Then area we calculated 25 into 10 to the power minus 4. By simplifying we got 0 0.12 Weber per meter square. The unit for magnetic flux density is Weber per meter square. So we got the value 0.12 Weber per meter square. Now we will go to the second third problem. A current of 2 ampere passes through a coil of 350 turns wound on a iron ring of mean diameter 12 centimeter. The flux density established in the ring is 1.4 Weber per meter square. Find the value of relative permeability of a iron. So what are the data given? First, the current is given, 2 ampere. Current equal to 2 ampere. Number of turns, 350. Magnetic flux density B equal to 1.4 Weber per meter square. Mean diameter is given, 12 centimeter. So, that mean radius equal to 6 centimeter. So, the mean length is nothing but L equal to 2 pi Rm, circumference. Circumference of the ring is nothing but a length. L equal to 2 pi Rm. The circumference is nothing but length. So, the Rm value is available. So, 2 into pi into Rm, 6 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter. 6 centimeter is given. So, while converting it becomes 6 into 10 to the power minus 2. So, by simplifying we got 12 pi into 10 to the power minus 2 meter. Right. So, the length is nothing but circumference. The circumference of the length is nothing but the, the circumference of this ring is nothing but the length. And also we have mu naught, it's a constant, absolute permeability, 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7. We need to find the relative permeability of a ion, right? So the one lengthy length is equal to circumference, both are equal. In order to find the relative permeability, first we will go with a magnetic flux density, because this value is given, B is available. 
B equal to mu into H, that is mu naught mu R into H, the relation is available, the relation between B and H. Now the H is replaced by Ni by L, magnetic field intensity equal to Ni divided by L. Right? So from that we can find what we need is mu R. So bring other terms in the left hand side. So the L is multiplied here, B into L. This mu naught Ni is brought in the denominator because we need this value. Right? So, other values are brought in the left hand side. So, B into L divided by mu naught Ni, that is mu R equal to this expression. Now, we can substitute the value here. B is 1.4, length is we calculated 12 pi into 10 to the power minus 2, mu naught is constant, absolute permeability, 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7, the number of turns is 350 and the current is 2 ampere. So, by simplifying this, what we got mu r equal to 600, the relative permeability of the ion, ion ring is, is a 600, mu r is value is 600. Now, we will go to the fourth problem. A mild steel ring of mean circumference 60 centimeter have a cross sectional area 4 centimeter square, is wound with a coil of 300 turns around it. Calculate the current required to produce a flux of 500 microweber. 500 microweber. Take the relative permeability of the ion is 400. Now we will see what are the data available. The mean circumference is given 60 centimeter. We already discussed in the previous problem also. The circumference is nothing but the length L equal to 2 pi R because of circular ring. The length and circumference are equal. So, L equal to 60 centimeter. The circumference is directly given 60 centimeter. So, converting into meter, it is 60 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter. So, the length of the magnetic path is nothing but 60 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter. Now, what are the other data given? Number of turns given 300. The flux is given 500 micro Weber. So, 500 into 10 to the power minus 6 Weber. Micro means we have to multiply with 10 to the power min minus 6. Milli means 10 to the power minus 3. Micro means 10 to the power minus 6. Then mu r value is given 400. Relative permeability of the ion is 400. The area is given 4 centimeter square. While converting meter square, 4 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter square. Right? Centimeter to meter, 10 to the power minus 2. Here centimeter square is there. So, 10 to the power minus 4. Now, we will find the current, current value. The flux is given. The main thing is the flux is given. From that, we need to find the current. So, we start with the flux. Pi equal to Ni by S. That is the reluctance S equal to Ni by pi. From that, we got the formula pi equal to Ni by S. Ni divided by this S. Reluctance, one more formula is L divided by mu naught mu r into A. The reluctance one more formula available in terms of length and area like r equal to rho l by a similarly s equal to l divided by mu naught a l by a is common there rho is there resistivity here mu available in the denominator right so this mu naught mu r a will go to the numerator is available in denominator so it will go to numerator n i mu naught mu r a divided by l so here only we need the l value so bring this L, I value, we need current. So, this L is multiplied here, pi into L. This N mu naught mu R A is brought in the denominator, in the left hand side. So, that I equal to, we got this value, pi L divided by N into mu naught mu R into A. Now, we will substitute these values one by one. So, the pi is given 500 micro, micro weber, 500 into 10 to the power minus 6. The length is nothing but circumference is given 60 into 10 to the power minus 2 divided by number of turns is 300. The mu naught absolute permeability is constant 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7. The mu r relative permeability ion is given 400. The area is given 4 centimeter square that is 4 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter square. So, by simplifying all this we got I equal to 7.464 ampere.
for a given flux the current required is nothing but 7.464 ampere so in this video we discuss the four simple problem based on the magnetic circuit few more problem available in the other videos the link is given in the description box also subscribe the channel for more videos thank you